Hey, this is SK. Uh, I'm going to work, uh, attempt to work off this uh, photo reference here. Just a real simple um, uh, still life is my aim. I'm going to just work on some uh, patterns here with the dark and the light and uh, see if we can uh, punch up the colors a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is show more of my palette and the canvas so you probably won't see much of my face, which is probably that important. But uh, so uh, let me go ahead and get started here. Just got to set up a few more things, so uh, bear with me. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, liquid uh, fine detail today just to um, give a little bit more gloss to the paint and then also extend the paint, I meaning make the paint go longer. You'll see what I mean. I'm going to pour a little bit here. What I mean by extend, it actually gives you a longer stroke uh, with your paint here. I don't know if you can see the brushes. I'm going to use a one. This is a one filbert by a silver brush company and the uh, model is Brislon. Good brush, good brush for uh, you know where I'm at, what I'm doing. It's kind of it's a synth synthetic uh, brush. You notice know, so I've got my pot here that has a Gamsol. This is Gamsol. It's a really good uh, uh, OMS uh, brand. I like it. That's who I favor. And this is a really good pot for to put the uh, Gamsol in. Hopefully it focuses. Pour some of this into that. Really good for portability, especially when you're outside painting or plein air painting, you know, on location. Alright, so I'm just about set up here. I'm we'll probably add a little bit more to my palette as we go along. Looks like I got enough to do. Oh, I need a little bit more. A little bit of, I've got some Prussian blue and some sap green. Prussian blue, sap green. Here's the colors cad yellow, uh, light. This is uh, lemon yellow, cad orange. Uh, this is cad uh, red light. And this is uh, lizarin crimson. Cerulean blue would normally go here, and ultra blue would normally go here. Uh, yellow ochre, this is the, again, sap green. This is a, a Prussian blue, which I'm, I'm, really, I'm really liking, so I'm still experimenting with it, but I really like it. Uh, makes some blues, it's more of a, a bluish green, if you will, or green blue. And I need to put some white out, put my white out. Some white. On the palette, I always need white, it seems like, for most, uh, most projects, some studies I've been working on. So there's a little bit of white. And let's see what I can do. I've got paint here. I normally keep it in a box, but I know it's just easier to not have it in a box when I'm turning the box over upside down to reset it up. And the paint that I'm using, I like this particular brand. It's, the company is called M. Graham. The company they use a, uh, of course, pigment um, with uh, a walnut, uh, walnut oil. And I, I really like, I like it. I like how it comes out of the tube, and I like the the, uh, the vibrancy of the colors. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, so. What I want to do now is just see if I can get a quick sketch down. I've got the uh, taking a little bit of a uh, gamsol here. Just then we'll take a little bit of the yellow ochre. I'm just going to sketch a little bit of the yellow ochre. You can use darker colors if you need to. Um, to mix, like for instance, uh, a mix of a blue and a red and a yellow to give you like a kind of a darker brownish color if you need it. And uh, you just use a little bit of this liquid just to kind of extend the paint. 
extend a stroke, a brush stroke. So just real simple, just a real simple. Got a road here, and trees. I'm just trying to work on these darks like the trees, the sky. And, uh, so let's see how we go about that. Some basic lines to show some separation. for the trees, just a real sketchy line. Real basic shape. We have to edit some of the tree trees out just for to keep it simple. Well, it doesn't look like much now, but uh, <laughs> it'll, it'll look a little bit better as we add as we add some paint, more paint, and establish those values, and uh, we'll go from there. And the next thing I'm going to do is uh, mix some, uh, I'm going to try to mix up my colors for the most part, and then um, then we'll add some more paint to the surface, to the canvas surface. So these are the two knives that I like to use, really good knives. And if you can see that, this one's by Utrecht and this one's by Friedrichs. Good knives you have. And let's see. And really punch this sketch up from what I have here. So a little bit more. Try to separate some more of that. simplify this so uh, dark Mix this up real quick and stop the video. So that was the sap green. I'm going to work on that a little bit more. I'm just going to take out some more of this Prussian blue. This is Prussian blue. Look how dark that is. But it really, really lightens up when you add the white. So it's like this really, really vivid, strong blue that I'm really starting to like a lot. And that'll be my sky. I'm gonna mix one more color. Mix a uh, mm. let's see. This is that crimson red. So I'm kind of trying to mix the, the basic colors. 
and then uh, of course we'll have to adjust as we go along depending on what I need. Right, I got some basic colors down. Not all, but uh, there we go. Let's see what kind of painting we can put together. Alright, be back in a little bit.